Now, if you're researching how to learn to code, you'll likely see a screen like this, like I'm looking at right now on YouTube. Usually the recommendation is something like Python or JavaScript. And you would think from these results that the only way you can learn how to code is just with going the path of the web developer. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. That's the path that I started on way back in 2015. And it was kind of an easy way for me to go because I had HTML and CSS experience already, which are the two markup languages you would use to um, structure a website and, and style it a little bit. So it was kind of a, a natural progression for me to move on to things like JavaScript and PHP. But that isn't the only option. And if I had to do it over again, I probably would not start with web development. I would suggest another way to go, and maybe even a better way to go, is to learn how to program games from scratch. Now, I don't mean big AAA first-person shooter online games like that. I mean simple 2D games that maybe we would have played way back in the day in the 90s with a Game Boy or something like that. So simple 2D games programmed from scratch, and why? Well, there's a few things. First, whatever you're learning, whatever you're programming so that you can learn should be fun. Now, web dev games, both are fun for sure. Uh, I would argue though that web dev can be a little more complex, at least at first, because to really visually see something that you're programming, so you have to get started with like HTML and CSS at the minimum, so you can actually see something on the screen. And then you'll move on to something like JavaScript, which is the actual programming. So you've got all this other stuff you've got to do before you can get to the actual programming. Now you could just start with JavaScript and Python, but you're not really doing much on the visual end of things. It's You'd see it in the command line, you'd see some scripts running, and, and that's okay, I suppose, but maybe not as interesting as making an actual website or a web application. So I would argue that with programming simple 2D games, you could get started with actual programming a lot more quickly. Second, it makes it a little less complex when you're doing simple games. All of the other things that you have to know for web development, like HTML, CSS, and maybe even some database stuff to, to make things really interesting, that's a lot of extra stuff you have to learn before you actually get to do something interesting and fun. So I felt like with web dev, there was a lot of extra stuff that I didn't really care about, but I had to do it if I wanted to flex my programming muscles even more, right? So game dev, I think, kind of gets around all of that. Now, what kind of game dev? Well, simple stuff. And you could do it with a programming language like C, C++, or my favorite, Odin. I probably wouldn't start with something like C Sharp and Unity and, and all these other tools that a lot of people program games with, simply because that is keeping you from really learning how a computer works. I would say that if you want to learn programming, it's better to start for learning purposes, start with C, C++, some really simple stuff, or uh, Odin. I like Odin because it's more modern than C and C++, and it has a lot of nice features that make it easier to program games, and it's a simple language to learn. It's really not nearly as complicated as something like C++ or Rust, which is probably not a good language if you're a beginner. So if I were to talk to myself, you know, seven, eight years ago when I was getting started, I would recommend simple 2D games with a programming language like Odin, where I could learn the basics and the fundamentals of programming, have fun while doing it, and not bother with all that other stuff that goes with something like web development. Now, if after you've learned the fundamentals and you want to learn web development because that's where a lot of the jobs are, that's fine. And I think you would have an easier time picking up web development if you've already picked up the fundamentals with something like simple 2D games. And I think simple 2D games looks really good on a resume. That's, it's not easy to do and it shows that you have a good grasp of uh, programming. And you haven't just zoomed through a Udemy course or a bootcamp learning how to put together some websites, but you actually understand uh, something about programming. And you haven't just learned how to cobble together all these other technologies to make something, but rather you, you understand the nuts and the bolts, which I think will serve you a lot better as time goes on as well. My own story, as I progress through web development and trying to get better jobs and uh, promotions and whatnot, I was always learning the next web tech, but I was I had very little time left over to really tackle the fundamentals of computing and understand things like how memory is managed by the computer and stuff like that. So I always felt like I was playing catch up and it got way less fun as time went by to learn the next JavaScript framework or to learn the next database management system. Uh, it, it just wasn't as rewarding. And now that I've recently started on learning 2D game development from scratch, 
I, I got to tell you, I'm having a lot more fun, but I'm definitely challenged with learning more about how computers work. And I wish I had started years ago. I think it would have been better, uh, would have been better for me. So that's the other option. Instead of thinking that if you want to learn to code, you have to go the web developer route. I highly recommend you look into programming simple 2D games. And I highly recommend that you look at a uh, simple programming language like C or Odin. C++, Rust, those are great languages, I'm sure, but they're far more complicated than what you would get with C and something like Odin. So how do you learn? Uh, some of the great resources that I've found would be here, I'm just going to bring it up here. Handmade Hero is a great one to watch. Um, he uses, uh, he, Casey Morturi uses uh, the C programming language and he walks you through, It's it's been going on for years now, making a game from scratch. There's a lot of complicated stuff as things go on, but you'll learn a ton. And you don't have to go through the whole course or the whole series, which are hundreds and hundreds of videos, before you actually start learning something and get to a point where you can start trying things out yourself. So I definitely recommend that. Get plugged into the Handmade Network. This is just a collection of people, a group of people that really believe in understanding how to program something from scratch. So this is a great place to be. And of course, there's tons of discords and stuff available too, where you can connect with like-minded people. Uh, if you want more of that, just let me know and I can share what I've found. Now, if I've convinced you that you can learn how to code by making simple games, check out my next video where I will walk you through how to quickly get started with Odin, which is a great language for beginners.